Good evening, friends. Thank you for joining Candid Meena every evening to follow what's happening in India and abroad. And thank you for sending me your useful comments and suggestions. If you believe in this channel, do hit the like button, share with friends and spread the message. Our only mission is to bring you the truth and both sides of the story. Thank you for your support. Today we are joined again by Deepti Pinati. Uh, welcome, Deepti. Namaste, Minaji. Thank you so much. And yes, uh, today, whatever is going to be covered on your channel in the English session, it's going to be very, very explosive. And uh, as in now, Sushant has come now, uh, till now he was giving the explanation so that people can, I will not dismiss it as a conspiracy theory because yeah. such big names are coming out. So mm -hmm. today, if this, if he had come out with this clear cut information before itself, then people would yeah. not have been able to comprehend it. So he okay. gradually, I mean, he even streamlined the process of people understanding it. Okay. okay. So today there is going to be a lot of uh, explosive uh, stuff. And after I started sharing these slides, the pressure and uh, the threats and the harassment by the people has increased as well. Okay. Uh, today itself, I mean, Madhya Dwara okay. police station in the road to uh, airport, one of my team members was picked up. Okay. And uh, I mean, just saying that car in which he was traveling, it is not on his name even and just just stopped him and said that oh this car is booked for hit and run and they ca kept him hold on this madhya dwara police station since morning uh, so i i had come for some important work here regarding these uh, things only and this is how the police forces are being used by the establishment now who is responsible for this minaji earlier one of my friends who signed as the witness on one of the vakalits for shridevi case he too belongs from uh, Bangalore, Raju Shirka of Bangalore. He was picked up by crime branch police in Rajaji Nagar and he was beaten black and blue. He was asked, oh. what is your connection with that girl? Why is your witness on that uh, Vakalat? That poor fellow didn't know anything. He was just a casual friend. I didn't find any witness. I said, please sign as a witness here. He, know, he didn't know anything about the, uh, he didn't know anything about uh, the case or something, but still he was picked up and he was beaten black and blue. Okay. And I am saying all this, but if later they come and say that she has told a lie, I won't have proofs because they changed the records. They have changed the records to say that, uh, I mean, no, he was called for some other case. Are you getting me, Naji? Yeah, yeah. Very sad. So let us all analyze whom the government and the government agencies are working for. We have seen how the CBI has responded to big cases and big crimes where big names are involved. We have seen how Mumbai police has uh, shown uh, its actual true colors. Uh -huh. uh, but it's not just the Mumbai police, audio. it's the same. Your audio, yeah. uh, Deepthi? Yeah. Am I clear now? Yeah. Yeah, I think we just missed your what you said last. See, this is how the whoever is using the agencies, uh, the investigation agencies, the police agencies, the judiciary, the Supreme Court of India is being used by the cabal. The police agencies are being used by the cabal. That's why I asked in one of your shows, who is running this country? <laughs> if police can pick up anyone uh, and put any case on them, just because they're helping on grounds of suspicion. And we cannot say anything. And this is a, and this is a BJP ruled state. And the case Unfortunately, maybe the we are in for root shock, Minaji. Uh, let's see. With the CBI. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then we can start. Okay. Uh, yeah. But we will continue. I just want to tell one thing to whoever has caused this harassment of mine today. Uh, I mean, I was being asked my boarding pass and ticket so that they can find out my whereabouts. <laughs> The plan was to, you know, show me COVID negative and uh, quarantine and hold me in quarantine or something. So till now we are countering everything. So that's why I said, I don't know how long I will be able to, but uh, attempts are being made to corner me. Okay. And my team members are being brought or threatened or whatever, held up, beaten up in false cases and all. So I don't know how long, uh, I mean, we can pull it off. I hope the public uh, raises its voice before they can get away with another murder. Anyway, Lord Shiva is so, with you. 
yeah, watching all this. Yes, Minaji. So uh, I will continue from where I left last yeah, time. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Mahajan himself made sure that he had a strong set of people to stand with him, and this was one of his biggest weapons, which turned against him when ego went into his head. Mahajan was so preoccupied in proving that he was the best in whatever scenario that was in front of him that he forgot to keep a check on the warning signals that time kept giving him. Some of those pointers were his brother back, back answering him, his property in Old Delhi, which was about to get sold, suddenly goes without buyers for some time. And when elections come near, the property gets sold automatically. Throwing Sushma Swarajji's warning to the wind. Throwing Arun Jetli's warning to the wind. Throwing LK Advani's warning to the wind. Throwing Manohar Parikarji's warning to the wind. Out of the above names that I have mentioned here, what proved fatal to Mahajan was ignoring the warning given by Mano Manohar Parikarji. Manohar Parikarji was one of the well-wishers of everyone who had good intentions towards the BJP party. My contact stressed on the fact that Manohar Parikarji was almost in tears when tried to warn Mahajan telling him that, telling him what was happening around him. And always Mahajan took him very lightly and ignored everything because Mahajan was having the blueprints of the Akshar Dham attack that happened and had strong proofs against the Congress. Mahajan had some informers under his belt who could prove that Subramanyam Swami was nothing but a CIA agent who was using every gimmick under the sun to gnaw our country from its roots. Mahajan knew the dirty secrets of Sonia Gandhi, Adra, Digvijay Singh, Sachin Pilot, within brackets, assembly attack. Leaving these politicians aside, Mahajan also had some links which could prove to the world that it was Daud Ibrahim who was controlling Bollywood. And all the top actors and actresses in Bollywood were on his payroll. Now, if you ask me how I got this information, my sources, I will disclose them one by one. But you should not forget that I myself I will repeat the last line again. Yes. yes. Minaji? Yeah, please. Leaving these politicians. We seem to have lost connect with her. Uh, she, she'll be joining us back. So you've been hearing what she said. So I'm just waiting for her to rejoin. So meanwhile, uh, yeah, just let me just add her. Yes, back. Yeah. Okay. So, leaving these politicians aside, Mahajan also had some links which could prove to the world that it was Dawood Ibrahim who was controlling Bollywood. And all the top actors and actresses in Bollywood were on his payroll. Now, if you ask me how I got this information, my sources, I will disclose them one by one. But you should not forget that I myself am from the same industry. The industry which has lost all its charm. The following are the list of the actors and actresses who are on Dawood's payment list. Amir Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, Sanjay Khan, within brackets, the sword of Tipu Sultan, Madhuri Dikshit, Boni Kapoor, Anil Kapoor, Sanjay Kapoor, Arbaz Khan, Kunal Ganja Wala, Abhijit Bhattacharya, within brackets, Alka Yagnik's partner in most of the songs in 90s. Me koi aisa geet kahun. Mahesh Bhatt, within brackets, entire family, including Sony Razdan. Jackie Shroff, within brackets, entire family, except Tiger. Pankaj Kapoor, Salman Khan, Kapoor family, within brackets, Raj Kapoor. Saif Ali Khan, within brackets, after Sharmila Tagore. In the actors of this generation, the people who top the list are Shabir Ahluwalia, within brackets, RC, RC shootout at Lokandwala, Anushka Sharma, Jacqueline Fernandez, within brackets, 
murder movie is the entire movie murder movie the entire movie was sponsored by d gang and some names that will follow will shake you forever anushka sharma i would never want to defame any woman but the way she made her way up the ranks the people she was in touch with and also the kind of deals she struck including ipl the ever changing list of her boy boyfriends and moreover the bottom line i would want to conclude how did d company get the upper hand in sports betting all are interlinked i don't have much to speak on this but yes the facts on how things have conspired is in front of everyone and no one needs any other explanations for it if you do just check the list of her boyfriends and also do some homework on how many people has she interacted with since the time she stepped into the industry Ranveer Singh and Deepika Padukone. I have already spoken about the Raj Kapoor family, and it is not news that people do not know that Deepika was in a deep relation with Ranveer Kapoor. And not to forget, she was the daughter of a sports person, Prakash Padukone. It is not something new that Deepika was good in sports too, but who got her into the film industry forms the crux of the matter. I do not want to feed you people with anything. but if rumors and some stories are to be believed deepika is a very deepika is very close to some anti nationals deepika visits jnu who financed the visit what was the game behind it there are a lot of stories around it ekta kapoor karan johar manish malhotra ritesh deshmukh javed jafri these are some more names to be added to this list but i am not sure nor do i have any evidence or voice to stand for it because the voices who took these names do not want to come out in the open but the information given to me is so important that the whole story meena ji yes uh, yes i just need a break here uh, yeah the align, the align, yeah alignment missed i need to get back otherwise i will yes absolutely miss absolutely. some portion okay yeah absolutely so meanwhile friends i just like to tell you the latest news the president of aam aadmi party's gujarat unit gopal italia has targeted the son of gujarat mos home harsh sangvi of political brownie points Harsh Sangvi on 16th March 2022 has shared from his Twitter handle a video of his son Arush in which the kid is seen performing a rap song. The lyrics of the song underline the pride of being Gujarati and the song described Gujarati culture and Gujarati food. It said I roamed in the world visited best of the hotels even went to America but no food can compete with Gujarati theplas. I am Gujarati and will always remain one. so uh, gopal italia uh, the gujarat uh, state president of aap how somehow took offense uh, to the song by a child uh, he went on to attack this kid in his reply on 17th march uh, he, in his reply he said hello dear you will go to america eat thepla go to the best hotels in the world it is all right but will you study in a government school in gujarat or not will you join the queue of government jobs or not will you rush to the government office to drop income or caste certificates or will you have fun like this because your father is a minister now look at the way the the the, the, the how low aap is stooping to criticize a young boy who sings a song now this shows the culture of aap because yesterday i was watching on tv and i saw that uh, the chief minister you know who was known to be uh, often in an inebriated state actually told a journalist to shut up this is the kind of culture that has seeped into uh, punjab it's it's a very sad state of affairs now uh, you know a second uh, piece of news i wanted to tell you was a hindu boy narrated a real life incident which happened to him after watching the kashmir files and the video goes viral in a video that has now gone viral on social media a kashmiri hindu boy recounted how the opening scene of the kashmir files resembled an incident that he experienced as a child in the valley you might have seen the movie opens with a kid right he said a kid is caught by a mob and hit that was me he exclaimed the opening scene of the movie showed the child prithviraj sarnaik 
who played the character of Shiva, being assaulted by Islamists for cheering for India's victory against Pakistan. So a woman in the crowd said, oh, that was you. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, and uh, he said, I was 10 years old at that time. The boy recounted. And I remember that it was such a, it was a match between Pakistan and India, and Pakistan had won it. I was going to, through the streets, and the mob surrounded me. There was some money in my pocket. They took the money to buy crackers, the boy narrated, while choking under the weight of his childhood trauma. A woman who was seen consoling, the boy remarked, it's not possible to show the gruesomeness that has occurred. This was probably the mildest way of depicting what has happened to Kashmiri Pandits. The actual stories are much more gruesome. Now, friends, what I would like you to know is that uh, the filmmakers, you know, have researched this um, a movie very well. The content is absolutely uh, uh, true to the core because they've uh, actually featured, uh, you know, the stories of at least 700 people. Yes, there would have been slight mixes because, uh, you know, a short film can't uh, show every, every story. But they've done a brilliant job, I'm told. And uh, uh, this boy has also uh, spoken about his experience. I'll just take a few comments before Deepthi joins us, rejoins us. Ranbir Singh, Ayush Man, or Vicky Rajkumar Rao. Uh, Karthik, up is the low bro party. So low, Savitri. Please take care of yourself. You're all doing a good job. Please come forward and help these brave women and more. Then the boy is 42 years old. How can he be a boy? I had the same doubt when I saw the video. Okay, I'm just adding uh, Deepthi back. She's just back. Maya says, Meena Ji, Deepji, may Narayan give you both uh, ladies' protection, courage, yeah, I'm adding her, and security to take the battle between against other. Back, uh, welcome, uh, Deepthi, back. Yes, Meena Ji, am I audible? Yes, yes. Are you okay? I Am I audible? Yes, yes. Okay. All Are right. you okay? Uh, yes, yes, Meena Ji, yeah. Okay. Um, what was that? All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, Anushka Sharma. All right. So, I I left, I will start from where I left. Ekta yes. Kapoor, yes. Karan Johar, Manish Malhotra, Ritesh Deshmukh, Javed Jafri. There are some more names to be added to this list, but I am not sure, nor do I have any evidence or voice to stand for it. Because the voices who took these names do not want to come out in the open. But the information given to me is so important that the whole story revolves around this. Just because I have promised to myself, I am going to keep things very simple here. I will feel, fearlessly take some names out so that there might be someone somewhere who might have strong evidences to this and can do a world of good to the cause. I might not have evidences today, but there will definitely be a day or that time for sure will come when these people will dig their own graves. I have the stories to stand for the fact but I do not have evidences to utter a word about it. So I am just taking names for now. Let's leave it to time. I do not want to end up making the same mistakes which the others did. Continuing with the new names, let me take more now. Akshay Kumar, Twinkle Khanna, Ranbir, Shara, Ranbir Shori, Kunal Khemu, Vinay Apte, Manisha Koirala, Vipasha Basu, John Abraham, Selina Jetli, Baman Irani, Lara Datta, Goldie Bale, Srishti Bale Arya. Srishti Arya, this is the biggest name that is going to make 
the biggest name that is going to make the biggest difference in the entire sequence. The COVID virus, which has been coming out in the open now, was the biggest nail, or rather I would say one of the main nails in the coffin. I have my answers ready for it. This woman, check her out on the web who she is. The most of the movies which came out on, on Netflix, see the connections that the crew of these movies have. I have some more names to take. The names that I'm going, the names that I'm now going to take are those who are the pimps. I have So I think, again, we've been re disconnected. So facing some problems, dear friends, please bear with us. Uh, we'll be back. She'll be back. Meanwhile, I'll just take a few, a few uh, comments. Karthik, Meera, the film is about 1990 January exodus of Kashmiri Pandits. If he was playing cricket, then he was at least eight years old. In that case, he must be 40 years old, isn't it? Uh, see, Karthik, also bear in mind, that they have mixed up some stories, take, taken some examples because they couldn't narrate all the all the stories. So I think they would have also uh, slightly, you know, fictionalized somewhere. So not fictionalized actually, uh, told the truth, but uh, mixed up certain characters. I'm not too sure because this boy also mentions that. See how Nick is being sent by? Yes, we blocked him. Press like, guys. Thank you so much, uh, Savitri. Shristi is the daughter of Ramesh Bell. She's the daughter, uh, sister-in-law of Sonali Benbe, yes. And Sonali had cancer recently and she was in the US for treatment. Now, every Bollywood movie is connection of Daud. Please boycott Bollywood. Yeah, so uh, Martin says Kashmir Piles has really damaged Bollywood, yes. Meera says, I think Deepthi's internet is being targeted. Yes. Uh, Martin, thank you. Hello, Meena. Uh, Sujata, welcome. Good morning, uh, Mickey. Welcome. Welcome, Nature. She seems so weary. God bless her. And hope God, government gives her protection. Yes. So meanwhile, I was just looking at... Uh, uh, some of the pictures of Bollywood, and I found a very uh, sort of uh, a vulgar picture of uh, Chunky Pandey's daughter Ananya, in uh, you know in a, uh, in clothes that look like uh, under undergarments, uh, attending uh, somebody's birthday party, which was hosted by Karan Johar. Uh, see, even in even in Cannes film uh, you know festival, uh, even if the uh, actresses uh, you know wear little. Uh, you or uh, you know try to expose it's done even more uh, aesthetically look at the way our bollywood actresses are actually dressing i don't know what they want to show on one side they say that the veil is very important and on one side they dress like this it's very crazy yeah deepthi is back and just let me just add her friends just a second Yeah, Deepthi. Yeah, I think she's disconnected again. Some some problem. Uh, let me just read what Karthik says. Madam, the advent of terrorism happened from the middle of 1989, culminating in the kidnapping of Mehbooba Mufti's sister. Afterwards, terrorism became rampant, leading to the genocide. Yes. Naksha says, ma'am, can we, where can we download these diaries? Uh, I don't understand. Why would you like to download it? Why don't you just listen to them? We need to be alert and aware. Kashmir files can be in future too. Hello, Meena. Do you think uh, Vivek Agnihotri should not be trusted? Uh, 
I don't know. See, I'm also watching very carefully what the, what is happening. Yes, opening scene of KF, young boys playing cricket and cricket commentary going in the background. And when boys celebrate, then Dulka's batting, they get beaten up badly by the jihadis. Network issues with her. Yes, absolutely. One of my family's friends escaped death just by a whisker. They lost everything and came back to Coimbatore with just a pair of clothes. They recounted everything that happened. It was horrible. It's terrible. See, even the way, you know, the partition, what happened in, during the partition, what happened here, and look at the Mopla massacre. I mean, there are so many stories that are untold and hidden, you know, by a very devious government, you know, that was under Congress. I mean, there's a lot of uh, things that our younger generation don't know about. Now we know the Swami files. So I think there's not just Congress, there are other parties also in this street, yes. Yeah, uh, the teacher sent a message saying that, uh, uh, you know, there are some uh, issues. She's just uh, sorting it out. In a few minutes, she'll be back. It's so unbelievable to see many actors, actresses who have worked with SSR to have moved on, not an inch of sadness or any effect on them. We have yet not been able to get out of this shock. Yes, absolutely. Hats off, brave ladies. Thank you so much, Monali. Vivekji has done a great movie, but still sitting on the fence when it comes to boycotting Bollywood Evident in Style Rugs interview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Deepti, for joining us. Yeah. Some issue with the net, I think. Deepti, welcome. Minaji, can you hear me? Am I, is my audio yeah, okay I can now? hear you. Yeah. Only, yes, yes, I can hear you. Okay. 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 So I will continue from where I left. I'm sorry for this. Yeah, please, please. This is, yeah. Okay. There are continuous attacks on the Airtel network. Since morning, I am facing troubles interacting with my <laughs> team members. So, and I have left the console from which where I control the servers uh, back home. So I'm not able to give a, back, a proper network backup today. Okay. So my voice is clear, right? Yes, very clear. OK. OK. All right. Just because I have promised to myself that I'm going to keep things very clear here, I will fearlessly take some names out so that there might be someone somewhere who might have strong evidences to this and can do a world of good to the cause. I'm not, I might not have any evidences today, but there will definitely be a day or that time for sure will come when these people will dig their own graves. I have the stories to stand for the fact, but I do not have evidences to utter a word about it. So I am just taking names for now. Let's leave it to time. I do not want to end up making the same mistakes which the others did. Continuing with the names, let me take more now. Akshay Kumar, Twinkle Khanna, Ranveer Shori, Kunal Khemu, Vinay Apte, Manisha Koirala, Vipasha Basu, John Abraham, Selina Jaitley, Baman Irani, Lara Datta, Goldie Bale, Shristi Bale Arya. Shristi Arya, this is the biggest name that is going to make the biggest difference in the entire sequence. The COVID virus, which has been coming out in the open now was the biggest nail or rather i would say one of the main nails in the coffin i have my answers ready for it this woman check her out on the web who she is the most of the movies which came out on netflix see the connections that the crew of these movies have i have some more names to take the names that i am now going to take are those who are the pimps
I have taken some of these names in the earlier slides, but for now, let me take the names again with all the connections. Sometimes it is so irritating that some names which have been mentors or role models for you are such where you need to conclude and take a deep breath that you were wrong. And also understand one thing for a fact that with position or power, it doesn't mean that the person is clean. It was a shock to my own conscience and I am now beginning to feel that are all these people puppets who do not even have a voice of their own and are just repeating what is being fed to them like a tape recorder. Now the next important question that comes into the picture here is that what is the main agenda behind all this? I will get to it soon but the one thing that I need to request everyone here is that the next few set of names are so big that you might almost lose the ground under your feet. And the names go as follows. Javed Akhtar, Faran Akhtar, Raj Babur family, Aditya Pancholi, Kapil Sharma, Sunil Pal, Amitabh Bachchan, Shilpa Shetty, Shamita Shetty, Diya Mirja, Jacqueline Fernandez, Vicky Kaushal, Katrina Kaif, Sharad Saxena, Mohit Suri, Sunil Chetty, Sanjay Dutt, Nargis Fakri, Roni Skruwala, Farah Khan, Sajid Khan, Sajid Nadiadwala. Not just these actors and actresses, there are some other powerful top names in the South industry too. And yes, these names too are on Dawood's playlist. And the connection here is that most of the South films that are dubbed into Hindi, a major share of them go to Dawood and his D company. And the biggest link that got Dawood connected to the South industry was one person who played the role of a bridge in making sure the transactions were smooth and it benefited everyone who joined hands with these people. The name is R.G. Verma. R.G. Verma or Ram Gopal Verma is one of the main kingpins of Dawood. And if I take this topic now, I have to go back to some stories which were untold and some deaths which never could be explained. These were depicted in some of the Bollywood movies. But back then, the general public thought it was just the script of the movie that was playing and movies became super hits. One famous director once said, that movies are nothing but a personification of reality. And it is so beautifully put in the script that people think that it is just a narration. When we started pic picturizing films, there was nothing called as a disclaimer. It came much later when some intellectual souls got to realize about this gimmick. And in the law system, there are shortcuts which entertain such disclaimer. And the basic fact of any case is that the party who is fighting for the case or the party who is fighting against the issue of the case, both know the case in and out. It is only the judge who is unknown of the fact what is happening around and needs to take a decision on what is being fed, fed on to him. I might be termed a little foolish here for penning this down, but then I need to ensure that I need to explain every situation in the best possible way so that everyone is on the same page. Any issue of fight fails only because of two reasons. People who are with you in the mission are in the dark. You fail because people who are with you are in the dark. Unless there is clarity of what is happening around you, unless there is clarity of what is happening around you, there is no way any solution can be sought. And if there is no solution to the issue on hand, then it is like that endless fight where you have no idea of what is happening and why it is happening with all due respect to the greats and understanding the fact that sometimes some things need to be kept within yourself, which I now feel I myself should strongly follow. The only proverb which comes in my path when I am to take this decision is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. I agree, the entire world is on the basis of hope. But then, if you keep hoping, you reach nowhere. It's your effort towards your hope 
that takes you somewhere this effort is what i call preparation it is very important that you are prepared and the best way to prepare is when you keep everyone who is on your side in the loop of what is happening around you not everyone who is with you is on your side but then there is an intellect which almighty has given you and it is not to be kept in shelves you need to use it and when you have no much idea of what is happening around you everything can be understood about what is happening around us but when the situation is something else like this one when we know what is happening around then it becomes even the more interesting when there are stories are attached to it because sometimes the stories that are attached to truths and these truths have great meanings which could have a different point attached to it whatsoever now the main subject that remains unanswered till now is what is happening and why is it happening some answers lie here and that's why we need to understand that it's our intellect which plays a major role in deciding what is right for us and what is wrong now getting back to the names the top names in the south industry include junior ntr allu arjun nandamuri balakrishna pavan kalyan chiranjeevi karunanidhi jayalalita vijay gopichand jagpati babu anushka shetty dhanush through the movie shamitab kajal agarwal nayan tara prabhu deva since he started directing movies the biggest controversy in the entire subject is what i am going to take now and each of these names are connected very strongly to the death of divya bhati and parvin babi and there are some important aspects connected to it which i am going to explain now and let me make it very clear to everyone that these are the facts which a lot of people knew about that never came out anywhere and the reason these matters did not come out anywhere was because if these matters would have come out then this entire hidden nexus that was running would be exposed parvin babi everyone knows was about to do a massive exposures in the tada court and she was very vocal about it too the reason she was very vocal about it is because of one common connection which not many know the maid at parvin babi's house was divya bharti's maid once upon a time or this is something similar to this i am not sure of the exact connection but one of the staffs of parvin babi had worked for divya bharti in the past when babi was on her task of getting the things streamlined to prepare for her expose in tada this staff of parvin babi told her what had happened to divya this was much before the time parvin ji came out in the open i have the words of this staff too and also the words of some other people who were around during this time and this came out as a effort of my own research hence it is even the more important that i put it out one after the other do not get confused here that i am mixing up things but the death of this diva is directly connected to the death of pramod mahajan the staff who is in touch with me said that around 8th of january 2005 parvin babi had met mahajan at a common event and there was some discussion that happened during the event and both mahajan and babi seemed satisfied the staff does not recollect the event as it was not that big an event which would be which should be remembered but there was one answer which that st- staff gave me which i was satisfied that this is the truth and he gave evidences for it as well i would have given out what he told to me but the fact that this can put in danger the life of the person who is putting an effort to stand with the truth now after this meeting happened exactly 4 days later babi called mahajan and they spoke for a long duration after this babi was satisfied and convinced that everyone is the same and she was never wrong this was the last public interaction parvin ji had and some days later she went into total isolation is what is told in the media right but the truth is that mahesh bhat and kabir bedi came down to her residence on 15th of january and there was a heated discussion 
The discussion went on to such an extent that Parveen Babi had disconnected the gas cylinder from the pipe and was ready to set the entire place on fire. This issue should have come out in the media. But then the watchman of the building was paid a hefty sum and we were all threatened to leave the place. And they gave us good money too. And the entire experience was such demoralizing that I started to think, does God really exist? If he does, then where is he? Why is he blind? Can't he see all this? If rich and famous people are tortured and harassed like that, what is the plight of the common man? Is goodness dropped off as chapters in books? Why should we pray? The words of the staff. I just was having goosebumps all over me while I was hearing this and did not know what to answer to this person. The person continued. Parveen Ji was a very strong woman. She had a very strong willpower too, but she was left lonely at the end. She had two, three other people with whom she was constantly in touch with, but I am not sure who they were. I am not sure who the others were, but one person I can guess with the way she used to greet the person and the way she used to speak to the person when they met in person too was Raju Khan. The connection here was one film which got shelved, which got shelved, where Raju Khan wanted Parveen Babi to act another person who could convince Babi to act in the movie was Gabbar Singh. The person was take, making a reference to the legendary Amjad Khan. The name of the movie was Wo Kaun Hai, 909. This movie got shelved and I, and I heard it from Parveen Ji's own mouth that the film got shelved because of doubt. I'm not sure what the entire story is. When I heard this, I felt the need to investigate into this matter. But no one came out with much information on this. My research, my research is on still and I will make sure I will try and get something or the other to try and find out what exactly happened and what is the real story behind this. But if we take a closer look here and try to analyze the one fact, the one fact doesn't change and becomes a stronger truth all the more again is the connection of Bollywood to the underworld. The person carried on a week after Babi's death, I got a call and was asked to come down somewhere where I was promised that my safety would be taken care of. I was not sure whether I should go or not. So I said I will come and I changed my number instantly. But then one day, a few months later, I bumped into Pramod Ji, who took me to a corner and asked, has Parveen Ji given you anything? Is there any evidence which she has given you or anything which I can lay my hands on? I was totally confused and said no, because Parveen Ji never gave me any such document or anything. Pramod Ji punched his wrist in the air and left. I might be boring you people here, but then again, the fact which comes out had people documented their journeys and what happened to them or around them, then a lot more lives could be saved and these issues could be much better handled. I'm not at all sure what is wrong with people who want to take up stand against the wrong that is happening, but fail to make notes or keep a record for the same. How I wish that everyone who took such battles up had kept notes on what was happening and then proceeded with whatever they wanted to do. Just because there is no hint or document to know what exactly happened, a lot of issues are unanswered and are pending. And the worst part of it is that the pattern and the people who are involved in these crimes and such incidents are incidentally the same or closely connected to each other. The person then started on another chapter that rocked me out of my senses. And I was spellbound hearing to what I was hearing. This was a big, big, big shock to me. And I took a lot of time to digest this and get to a conclusion on how could this be possible. Then some incidents that happened convinced my mind that yes, this is possible. When money ego or misunderstanding comes into the picture, that is more than enough to turn brothers into enemies, to turn best friends into the worst force, to make a huge impact wherein people kill and do not even raise an eyebrow. 
Before I start, what is the incident? Let me make some things clear. Yet again, one more time. One, I am only keeping things out here for my own personal reference and also as a document for someone who would want to stand for the truth if my voice is silenced. Two, I have nothing to do with anyone and acting is just my passion. I agree I am getting paid for it, but this is not the only work I can do. I can do a lot more. What I mean to say here is that acting is just my passion and I am well prepared to earn in other ways through the other things that I have learned. And I can earn good enough, honestly, even if I step out of this industry. So I do not have any kind of grudge, hatred or ill feeling on anyone. And neither do I have any kind of personal enmity on anyone. The chapter that I am now going to open may shake the entire establishment from its roots and also make the public aware of some deep, dirty stories which the, entertainment in, which the entertainment industry never wanted anyone to know. Here there are some untold chapters that can shake your belief system. But trust me, when I went into the details of it, I found out that whatever has been told was nothing but the truth. There were no additional wings attached to it, neither was any kind of fabrication made. These were pure facts and the person who told me this too was someone who said, if need be, I will come out in the open and repeat all this. But I do not have any evidences to prove my stand. It is my duty to make everyone aware of what was happening around me. And it is left to you in what flavor you want to take it. Because it is up to each one of us to decide what we want to do about anything that comes in front of us. Unless you understand things with your own understanding, there is no point even if the entire library is in front of you because you are only hogging on things that is being thrown at you as humans. As humans, we need to use our brains, analyze the situation and then come to a conclusion on what is the action that we should be doing, we should be taking. The name that I'm now going to take is of Gulshan Kumar and the story that I'm now going to narrate might make people lose the very ground they are standing on. And also conventional belief system would be shaken. And there is every possibility that some people might get so confused about all the information that is going to follow that they might think either I have lost my head or I am definitely hatching up an agenda. But this is not the fact. When these issues were narrated to me, my mind took me elsewhere to some of my own personal experiences. And some incidents which happened to me made instant connections. And I got to a conclusion that every word that was spoken was right. And there was nothing around it. And no one was faking, faking it out. The story goes thus. Gulshan Kumar's bodyguard falls sick suddenly. And despite all the warnings that were given to him, the man still went on. Because he was promised protection at the place where he was supposed to go that day. The entire story that I'm going to narrate now revolves around this and also how Nadim got bailed out and how the statements changed and what was the main reason behind the change of statements. To explain this, we have to go about this incident chapter wise, wherein we will first have to understand what conspired and how the game was set up and what were the other supporting incidents that happened around this time. This is the first part of the chapter. The second part of the chapter will focus on what made the statements change and how was Nadim bailed out? Why did Abu Salem too change his statements and the other truths that were buried down in the media? For the first time in the entire experience of this journey, which I have taken up, my hands are shivering in frustration that we are so played with that. With that. Despite we see things, we see the colors added to it. We do not see things as they should be seen. And this for most of the times has been the biggest problem that has been continuing since ages. We need masala. We need that cozy rock, rocking chair in the morning to sit with a cup of tea, read out the newspaper, and then we need people around us to gossip on topics. I'm sorry, but I have to quote the famous statement from the movie Nayak, where Parish Rawal tells Anil Kapoor, Yahan puri government aur tumhare haath mein aane ke liye sach ke baithi hai 
और तुम हो कि गवर्नमेंट की नौकरी करना करनी है एक चोखरी से शादी करोगे इसके बाद रिटायरमेंट प्लानिंग में लग जाओगे और उम्र होते ही कहीं एक छोटा सा फार्म हाउस लेके रॉकिंग चेयर रॉकिंग चेयर पर बैठ के गरम गरम चाय पीते हुए सुबह का न्यूज़पेपर देख अपनी बीवी से कहोगे कि डालिंग पॉलिटिक्स से गटर है पूरे देश का सत्यानाश कर दिया है कोई हक नहीं है तुम्हें ये करने कहने का गटर है तो गटर में उतरो और साफ करो गटर आज कोई बचा ये नहीं आज कोई बच्चा ये नहीं बोलता कि मुझे पॉलिटिशियन बनना नहीं है देश को सुधरने के बारे में बोलने की तुम लोगों को कोई हक नहीं क्योंकि इसके जिम्मेदार तुम खुद हो दी एंटायर गवर्नमेंट इज कमिंग ऑन ए प्लेटर टू यू एंड यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन ए गवर्नमेंट जॉब जस्ट टू गेट मैरिड टू द गर्ल यू लव एंड लिव ए कॉज ही लाइफ एंड वाइल यूर रिटायरमेंट अप्रोचेस यू वुड बाई ए स्मॉल फार्म हाउस फॉर अवे फ्रॉम द सिटी एंड सिट देर ऑन ए कॉजी रॉकिंग चेयर sipping on a cup of hot tea telling your wife darling the political situation in this country is a mess a total mess and the entire country is feeling the pinch you don't have any right to give such statement when you cannot do anything about it yourself when you are having an opportunity to do so no child also wants to take up politics as a career don't talk about improving the country when you yourself are directly or indirectly the reason for what is happening around you and you are okay with it the reason i am sorry for this is because now when i got to know the real shit behind all such movies i feel so pity on myself that movies did keep giving us warnings about how mind games are played on us and we were foolish enough to fall prey to all this despite knowing for a fact that whatever was happening around us was beautifully told in the movies and we clapped thinking that all this was a part of the script as i was telling earlier movies take inspiration from real life and the characters are glorified on the reel there are so many such movies which i have a huge list of i will get to those in a while but yes with both my hands folded i have one request to make it is still not late we can get back on our feet and make sure that our society becomes clean soon but the only thing what we need to do is we need to start voicing out I agree media is no longer the same which it used to be some years ago but we have a new alternative now social media if you see anything wrong that is happening around then voice out loud and get to the social media share your story there instead of sharing all those selfies of every single activity that you do pouting out and waiting for the likes share some share some real things that you see around yourself and then see how the change will come it is hardly a matter of few minutes to do this and there is nothing to be worried about till you are voicing out facts it is just the choice of words you make and if you are someone who by default speaks the truth then you have nothing to worry about this is the change that we have to get into our society soon we need to be dependent we need to be independent and stand on our own feet without waiting for someone else to get us our solutions getting back to the chapter on hand some questions that were thrown at me were who was gulshan kumar's bodyguard how did he fall sick what was the conspiracy behind this sickness why is this sickness so important what plan backfired actually which made the bodyguard fall sick if the stories that were told to me are believed gulshan kumar's bodyguard on that day ate the meal that was supposedly prepared for kumar the bodyguard was aware of this fact or not i am not sure but the meal had a particular kind of substance added into it which could cause the death of gulshan kumar because gulshan ji's immunity was not that great during those days the bodyguard fell sick because his immunity was fine but it was a huge uphill task for that man to get back into his perfect shape back then the compound that was the compound that was used i am not sure what it was but when i did some checks around the happenings at that time i found the traces of the same compound in gulshan kumar's residence too and this is what gave me huge shock not many know that gulshan kumar preferred to have his food at home most of the times when it was possible 
and he was such a sweet person that he made sure his people ate with him or just immediately after he was done the incidents that happened around this time and the weird behavior of the people in gulshan ji's close circles were adding more fuel, more fuel to fire one such was nadim of the nadim shravan do the police too were confused on how to conclude it this chapter that's when mohammad ali hussein sheikh walked out and claimed that he knows that nadim was involved in the murder nadim fled india and went to uk when the time came for this mr sheikh to give his statement in the court he retracted from his words and said he knew nothing about anything that happened and he doesn't know nadim or neither has met him the most interesting angle here is this which coincidentally remains the same in every instance whatsoever i am not raising any allegations on the gentleman but the name ujwal nikam just look up as to who ujwal nikam is and the list of cases that he has handled i have nothing more to say kindly note these are not my words but the words of the person who was telling all this to me some interesting facts about ujwal nikam 1993 bombay bomb blast ujwal nikam helps prosecute the suspects did the real suspects get punished names of mahesh bhat and others too were dragged in the court how could they walk out i agree there were no evidences against them but there are some stories around the same which can be used as strong evidences in court the strongest evidence to the entire fact here lies with what happened some years later and see the beautiful connection here beautiful word i have used here is out of sarcasm rahul akka mohammad but the son of mahesh but helped david headley isi agent and the prosecutor here again was ujwal nikam i am making a reference here to 26 by 11 gulshan kumar case ujwal nikam handled the case and the witness turned hostile i am not sure what happened but yes there is some solid connection to this and i do not know how to connect the incidents together pramod mahajan case ujwal nikam again in one of my earlier slides i had made a mention that if mahajan would have lived a week longer everything that was happening around us would have changed and there would be a total revamp on most of the things i think we are inching closer in decoding a lot of facts but we might have to wait finally to conclude here on this man before i bring out some more interesting facts just to make sure i have stressed my point well ujwal nikam again was the public prosecutor for the 2008 attacks 26 by 11 now go back sit think and analyze what is the entire scene around this and what are the conspiracies that are attached to all these incidents i will do my research on this and make sure that i note since there is a lot of information and only having notes on a drive makes it easier for someone else to get access to unless you have followed the entire sequence properly or have read all the slides before this one i am here creating a diversion this is just to ensure that my work does not go into the wrong hands and also to ensure there is no tampering of any of the slides from the slide number 205 where i last stopped i am continuing my work from this slide please note that this is slide number 206 206 and from here on the next slide numbers will be normal without any additional inputs to be added like i had done it once before where i used to give the continuation numbers and had created a huge mess around it the numbers will continue normally but from here this slide onwards it would be slide number 206 and so on to ensure that there is no confusion and there is continuity i would start this slide from the last paragraph of slide number 205 so that there is no confusion or doubt, doubt whatsoever finally to conclude here on this man before i bring out some more interesting facts just to make sure i have stressed my point well ujwal nikam again was the public prosecutor for the 2008 attacks 26 by 11 now go back sit think and analyze what is the entire scene around this 
and what are the conspiracies that are attached to all these incidents. I will do my research on this and make sure that I shall get to all the facts that were buried. And once I do it, I will make sure I will come out about these in the open and make sure that these people are not spared. Entire humanity is crying for the mistakes done by some foolish people. And moreover, the entire story here, rather I would say all the things that are happening in the society today revolves around just this bunch of people. If I go back now, sit and think, the fact is that not everyone is bad. Say 25% of the people are bad and have evil intentions. And these 25% seem to play with the minds of the rest 75%. This is what is happening in this society today. The man continued, you do not know Mahajan was this close to... In the man continued, you do not know Mahajan was this close into exposing a big, big racket that was running on the name of politics. I still remember those words which he last spoke. The last interaction this person had with Mahajan. Ye to sab unke hatam ki kartut thi. Ye to pata tha. Par is jamele mein to sab hai. Cycle bhi hai, hati bhi hai. Aur sabse dardanak sach ye hai ki is kichar mein mera kamal bhi hai. I was very sure that those people had their hands in all this. But I was not aware aware that everyone is having a good share in all this. Cycle, elephant, and the most hurting thing for me is that even my own lotus is involved in all this. Mahajan then went ahead to tell me that very soon he will expose them all and he will do it without fear. He was actually feeling the guilt for all his actions. The person went ahead and told me that Mahajan that day wrote a letter to someone who was at a very high position. I went ahead and asked the person, how do you know that it was written to someone? Really this great. The man said he was asked to hand over the letter to Arun Jaitli ji and tell him to give it to Bade Saab. Arun Jaitli ji himself was one of the stalwarts in the political field. Why did Mahajan tell me to contact Arun ji and tell him to hand it over to Bade Saab? That means this person is even higher to Arun ji. Taking a break from the man's words, this came to me as a shock as well. Hand it over to Bade Saab. Who is the Bade Saab? What could have been in that letter? And was this letter one of the biggest reasons that Mahajan died in such a manner? Where, where he could not even have thought about this angle when it came to his safety. It is a huge strike of misfortune that Arun Jaitli it is a huge strike of misfortune that Arun Jaitli ji left us. I was this close to meet him, but as the fate has to say, the great man left us and left me in confusion. I sometimes get wild on the society as to why the society behaves or, or does like this. If these people would have come out and wrote about all this back then itself, then it would be a totally different say today. But then the end. But then the one thing we need to understand and digest is that the facts around such deaths never made their way out because the media in our country is a puppet to all these people. And if someone did show the guts to bring the truth out or stand by his word, then he would end up becoming another Ravindra Patil or Parveen Bhabi. I am sorry to be using these words, respectable names, but the fact that how our society had treated people who wanted to come out and speak what they could stand for. The society never made an effort to understand these people. And hence the evil in the society is thriving. This is the saddest irony of all the happenings in our society today. And God alone knows when people will understand the importance of standing up for themselves and their rights. It is very easy to say that nothing wrong happened to me. But the bottom line remains that today it was someone else. If you continue to keep quiet, tomorrow it can very well be you. People here might feel that I'm just going on and on and on. And all these things look good only in books. But this is not the fact. What was written in books was written because those were words of great wisdom. It is human race that has manipulated all these words and sayings to suit themselves 
and their style of living. This is the biggest irony of mankind. After I came back, once my job was done, handing over the letter, Mahajan received a call on his landline, where I heard him saying that there are some celebrities who have a demigod-like status in the society. I will make sure I will make these people fall down to the earth and bite dust. Just because these people have some weakness about someone powerful, it does not mean that they can have a free flow of whatever they want to do or how they want to get the things done. There are so many people who earn a living by doing all these kind of activities. But this has to stop. Unless this stops, there is no way anything can proceed. After this, Mahajan spoke to closely another hour to that person on the call and then told me, set the table up for dinner. Taking a break from the man's words, there were too many questions that were running in my mind at this moment. When Nahar entered, I quickly gave a summary of what happened to Nahar. And Nahar too had some questions in his mind. We both decided that we asked these questions to the person who was telling all this to us. We started with our questions. One, how do you know all this? His answer, I know all this because Mahajan ji was very close to me. I used to do most of his work. Though there were a huge list of his people who could do anything for him, he used to call me when the matter was most important and give me a rough idea about it. Two, rough idea like, like Salman Khan hit and run. When the proceedings were on and when Ravinder Patil was being harassed, Mahajan was one of the only people, rather very few people, who stood for him. I still remember his words. Jo bhi ho, wo hamare police force ka admi hai. Main uski madad karna chahta hoon. Saamne aane sakta to kya? Saamne aane sakta to kya hua? Mere se jo bane ka, main karun ga. Whatever anyone wants to say or comment on this, that man is from the police forces. I will try my best to help him. My position might not let me come out in the open and support the poor guy. But I will do my best to see what best I can do for him behind the scenes. Taking a break from the man's words, Nahar blurted out here, this is what happened. It is very clear that the man, Mahajan, though he had his name in some wrong things that happened in the society, God knows when he wanted to change. But then the biggest point that came into the picture here is that, what is this, that this man is speaking like this? Some incidents and issues which Mahajan was involved had the names of top people. And the hit and run happened in 2002 and Mahajan stepped down in 2003. Was it just a coincidence or was this the reason Mahajan was made to step down? Hit and run happened in September 2002. Mahajan stepped down in January 2003. This is one angle we need to research, my brother, said Nahar. I just nodded my head as even I too felt that what Nahar was speaking, there was total sense in it. And we had to work on these hints and make sure we get to the bottom of the story. For me, till now, I was just listening to people and getting to know a lot of things. But then there was no evidence or proof of what was happening around me. Hence, I had to hold my horses back and just do what was the best thing to do. Just because the informations that are coming out are explosive and one wrong step from me would be enough for these people to brand me as conspirator spreading conspiracy. That is what is happening in this society, right? But the one thing these people now will have as a biggest challenge for them is that even if something goes wrong with me, my work will definitely make sure that anyone else who wants to take up the fight for truth will not have to start things from the scratch. He will have this work with him or her to help them understand the different angles on how these people operate. The informations that we are now able to lay our hands on are so valuable that we need to do it with a proper strategy. With a proper strategy. I will read this line again, Minaji. The informations that we are now able to lay our hands on are so valuable that we need to do it with a proper strategy, brother, said Nahar. And I agreed with him. Yes, we needed a strategy. We needed a strategy because, one, these people are big and dirty. Two, 
they have the resources to get any job done free there is no shortage of manpower four these people are very very deeply rooted in the system five they have hundreds of counters to every action that we can think of or can be taken off or can be taken six their style of work is not easy to decode seven they are united and watch each other's back this point number seven is the trump card no matter how many differences ever they will have in between them but if it comes out to someone amongst them getting exposed then the entire team would gang up and go all guns blazing on the issue that could end up sweeping their existence out eight they have no end point they can fall down to any extent if the matter is related to them and this is well explained and this has happened in front of our eyes yes almost on every instance it is just that we were blind and we couldn't see it this is one thing which kept repeating on and on and on and we were blinded reading out the laurels that were told about these people in the media and other public platforms Meena ji, for today I will stop here. Absolutely. Yes. I I I was not so I mean clear today. There were a lot of disturbances. I hope uh, whatever was read, people could get uh, yes, yes and understand Correct. it. Yeah. yeah. If there Absolutely. is any confusion, if if you want me to do another session on it, I will do it, Meena ji, because I no, know no, there no. has. No, no, no. It's very be. clear. It's very clear. Okay. So and uh, yeah. today also I was totally disturbed from the happenings that were happening throughout see. the day. <laughs> so, yeah. so we can only wish you uh, more courage and uh, you know safety that is all we can pray for you and uh, mina uh, ji yes. this point number 7 this point number 7 that he has said uh, this point number 7 is the trump card no matter how yeah. many differences ever they will have in between them but if it comes to someone amongst them getting exposed then the entire team would ga- gang up this is what is happening in bollywood right yeah absolutely Uh, one aryan yes. khan is held up everyone yes yes entire pack of wolves come together and start attacking the other person yeah and now that uh, the moment boycott bollywood has started yeah again Absolutely. all of them are coming together praising each other's movies have you seen i mean the kind of uh, image management that they are doing nowadays yes yes so, so mickey says dipti and meena are truly brave uh, beautiful ladies who are making sure everyone in social media getting the true uh, truth hats off to both of them uh, great examples uh, this is the kind of words that you know really make us feel good because deeply the amount of work that you're doing is so immense you know and exactly what you said just now see they they are working like one hand we should also be working like one hand exactly uh, now the here what is only your strength that is making them uh, bankrupt yes we should this is the point that they attacked from the beginning itself now let me tell you one point i want to make the entire uh the way sushant's movement came on, in front of the public on the social media i just want to point out some facts about it there are eight copies of these drives this entire set of drives there are eight copies okay and the cabal and the mafia people i think more, all the copies are with them were with them except one copy which was missing and they were aware of it that is the reason they were aware of it and they were afraid that if someone gets to decode this the things might come out that's why one person was let out so that that person can actually spread uh, this anti and they about the activities of this person they let that person will be was crude fake i'm talking about one advocate okay here most of the ssr warriors were broken they started dividing hmm. okay one person hmm. was put, because these people knew that there was one copy which was missing that might come out in the open so yeah. to negate that a bunch of youtubers came forward as frontline okay. ssr warriors okay. they gained the trust of the people they gained the trust of the people they collected huge numbers of uh, followers and now they are doing nothing about chusant's justice they were there they were employed to i mean divert the people keep them fighting against each other 
pull others down. Okay, keep the warriors fighting against each other. They attack the unity. Okay, that is why the movement which could have been even more stronger that suffered. Yes. Most I will not take name, not take names, but some of the YouTubers. See now we see that Sushant sisters are going to certain platforms. Yeah. Certain platforms of those people, okay, some of whom have attacked other genuine people, other genuine YouTubers, they have uh, kept them divided. Some of them who have claimed that they have seen Sushant in a pool of blood. So I feel, Minaji, I haven't, I have never spoken about the uh, SSR sisters or something, but I will, I feel that they are being monitored. See, the amount, the kind of explosion information that is there in the drives. Okay, so they are being controlled, they are being monitored, they are being directed towards which shows they have to attend. And I, I can bet on it that they are not allowed to speak about their fears or pressures that they are speaking. And that's why, uh, though I, I had asked uh, Priyanka to come on, on my channel, she never even responded. I mean, she, they won't be allowed to come to a channel which speaks truth. Yeah. It's plain and simple truth. I don't, I'm, see, I don't like talking against other people or Milan. I just want people to see the facts for what they are. Yeah. From my inside sources, I already knew the names of those YouTubers who were receiving money, how much money they were receiving okay. to spread oh. this kind of information. But I never told that though they were continuously attacking me because I wanted people to find out for themselves. Because if yeah. I too do the same, without the proofs then it will be like a fish market yeah and people will stay divided yeah some will follow them some will follow him then they will start fighting amongst themselves rather yes. than fighting for justice as yeah. justice just look at when i came out with the drives so many youtubers were claiming claiming to be ssr warriors including the forensic experts and all they all attacked they made hours and hours of videos saying that the grammar is not does not belong to Sushant. <laughs> they, the, he, I mean, they were experts on Sushant's writing style. Okay, and they just dissected the drives, the, the vocabulary, the writing style, and everything. So one only one question I was asking to them that okay, fine, I am not asking you to believe that these drives are real, but I am finding it tough to submit them to CBI. Kindly help me. Not a single person came forward. All they did was malign. And this is the reason many people have, see other people are, have now started believing in the drives. Most of the people, there were just a few of them. Slowly people are getting to see the truth because those people were misguided by this bunch of YouTubers who were fielded by the mafia itself. Oh. Terrible. So this is a very, very big game. And as Sushant uh, said, every crime that happens around the world, it is just this bunch of 25% of people who are doing this, playing with the minds of 75% of the entire people. So viewers, it's very clear. Deepthi has made it very clear. What is the modus operandi that's happening behind the SSR mission? And who, you know, are really playing games and trying to derail the movement? And who are the genuine people who are still pursuing, uh, you know, the mission for justice. So you will need to segregate and find out who are the ones. In fact, Deepthi, today there was an announcement that there's going to be a, uh, you know, a, a protest. So I asked if, if I'm, I'm not naming it here, if these two people are there, then this is a fake, fake protest. Because everybody by now knows that there are some names, particular names, you know, who saw the blood, and who, you know, are behind all this. See, a uh, lot of games, Minaji, a lot of games. Some says they saw the blood, but the sisters go on attending their platform, but they never question <laughs> them about it. Yeah. Yeah. They never question them about it. That boss, you claim that you saw uh, our brother in a pool of blood. Yeah. Okay, what was it? And they never question them, but they attend those things. That's why I said, I, I'm analyzed and I believe, I believe, I firmly believe that the sisters are being controlled, monitored, and threatened or whatever way they are pressurized and they are being directed to attend certain shows. Yeah. Okay, which are, which in any ways will know are not there to contribute to Sushant's justice, but just to keep the people divided. Yeah, absolutely. 
Okay. And also, then, uh, and also, friends. and also, one other thing, one other thing, Minaji. Someone has come up with this theory that Sushant is alive. Sushant is alive. Okay. So what is happening is that now the drives are out in the open, and I even took the extra step of going to the CBI since because everyone was saying that she wants cheap publicity. She should have submitted the drives to the CBI. She should have given it to the family. She just wants cheap, cheap of publicity. That's why she is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, doing all this on social media. So that's why I took the pain. I went to the CBI office. Four times I went there. Even after uh, letting Nupur Prasad know that I wanted to submit the drives, she didn't show any interest in meeting. Okay. And uh, later I went to Delhi main headquarters, got the acknowledgement. And now you all are seeing what is happening. In August 2021, uh, I got the application, acknowledged application. Till now, there has been no call. Because the agencies also know that all it will take to validate the drives is one hour of authentication of the digital credentials, like the IP route or the network path, network path or the purchase details of the software, the interface that was used. I mean, all those purchase details are also just a matter of time, just a matter of one hour. The CBI needs to have its IT team, and they can straight away say that it, these drives belong to Sushant. And this is yeah. this is admissible in the, even in the court of law. So such big evidences, if the agencies are ignoring, that only means one thing: that they know of all these things. They know the truth about Sushant's death. It's only because of public outrage the fear of public outrage that they are playing the waiting game okay otherwise otherwise people should not be foolish enough to believe one person if at one point of time he says that he has seen the video of sushant's murder on a dark web and later comes on to say that sushant is alive why are we not questioning this theory of sushant is alive is just to keep people confused like this is the same modus operandi that was used for Subhash Chandra Bose. Yes. Okay. Uh, one more thing. I'll just go into a little past. I don't know if they Yeah, are. please. Please. The actual story about the how we got independence. The main person, because of him, the I mean, the Britishers were forced to give us independence was Subhash Chandra Bose, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. In 1945, during the World War, all the sol soldiers, Indian soldiers, were following... Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Ne Subhash Chandra Bose, he, Netaji, I mean, at the crucial moment when there was need for the soldiers in the world war, Netaji said, I am not going to send these people till you people give it in writing that you will give us freedom. From then on, two years start strategy got planned and the transfer of power happened to their own people. The transfer of independence happened to their own people. Otherwise, if it was real independence, Sardar Vallabhai Patel would have been the first Prime Minister of India and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose would have been the torch bearer of independence. When in 1945, Netaji made them, forced them, forced them to give it in writing that, yes, give a word that, yes, we will give you independence. That was when he told, the, uh, he uh, ordered the Indian people that they can go and fight from the Britishers side. Then followed two years of discussions and deliberations and how to, you know, so the uh, indirectly the con control is still there. So this story about mind manipulation and everything, it has been going on since ages. Yeah. And also, see, not only this, uh, Deepti, see, when you took up the Sridevi case, there were so many people against you. Why? Because you said that it is a murder. It is not a death. And you had all the proof for it, you know. And the people who were most rattled was the husband himself. Because he kept posting things, uh, lovey-dovey messages, you know, to his dead wife. As though he, they were still in love when, you know, before she died. So all this is exposed. The way you have exposed everything. That is, but the saddest part of it is, uh, Minaji, if people who are wanting to bring the, bring the truth, and if they are harassed that the way that... Uh, I mean, my people were dead today. They're just waiting. I mean, the authors are just waiting for me to put one wrong step to book me into uh, any here, false case. Yeah, hmm. Deepti, 
just tell, if you're speaking to the Prime Minister, what would you say about what just happened to you in Bangalore? I will say that he knows what happened. I will only say that, uh, sir, you know that what is happening. You know each and every detail of what is happening. But still your silence is very, very disheartening. We are seeing the same pattern everywhere. We look up to you. You have people follow you like God. You should not disappoint them. You People see you as the only, only hope. People see you as the only hope. And if... I don't know what answer should I give to this, Minaji, because there are discussions happening parallelly. There are discussions happening parallelly with the topmost authorities. As I told for Sri Devi's case, I had interacted with the President of India, uh, Ramnath Kovinji, and uh, the Law Minister, Union Law Minister at that point of time, Ravi Shankar Prasadji. And at one point of the other, I had even interacted with Modi ji. When I had interacted, they had all the good things to say, yes, we will give all the support and all, but nothing about happens actually. And other things I cannot tell because I do not have proof and uh, this will give anyone the reason to put me into anything. So there are a lot of things that I cannot, I cannot uh, reveal out here. But only thing that I want to tell the people is that the fact is we stand for ourselves. No one is going to help us till we unite and bring the change. No one is a Messiah here. Everyone is to his own. It is us who have to force the change into the society. We have to stay uni united. I do understand the confus confusions that were created deliberately to keep the people divided in this movement. But now with time, now that you people are seeing and reading about it in Shushan's drives and connecting the things that are happening around, it's time that you unite and raise stronger voice. Now even the COVID is not there. Even the COVID is not there. Maybe it's time to come out of streets or... I would say, if I had my way, Minaji, I would say I would have declined to pay the taxes till some cases got solved. I would say, if someone can think of a petition, there are clauses in the Indian law which can allow this to happen. If a petition... I'm not finding time to draft that petition. The petition I want to draft is that this, 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 this things have happened, like the OHRA committee report, this and that and everything. So, so many cases, there are some glaring evidences, but the judiciary has been, when this is the system, till the system is set right, I'm not going to pay taxes. And if this case comes to hearing first, then we will say, let all those pending cases be solved first. Why should this came, this case come up first? Just because you want taxes. This is where it will hurt them the most. Votes are being manipulated. Okay. Vote someone is winning, vote someone is losing, and uh, the I don't know what to say, but I'm very disappointed with what happened today, Minaji. So uh, it's like we are left on our own, and uh, we are just waiting for the time when we will just crumble and we will be trampled upon, like the others were, uh, you know, eliminate, eliminated. So I don't know. I don't know what the government is doing. I don't know what the agencies are doing. If the people, common people can see these many glaring evidences, I am sure someone of the caliber of the Prime Minister also knows a lot more about this. And uh, I just have one thing to tell to him. Your dream of making India a Vishwa Guru cannot be a reality if such injustices keep happening in the society with your very own people. Forget about common people with the celebrities as well with people, with whoever stands for truth, if this is what is happening, then there is no point in, uh, you know, dreaming about making a, making India a Vishwaguru. If you cannot protect your own people from the termites that are within the country, who are in the system, so I don't know what asking, to say. Yeah. Ina ma'am, can you bring lawyers who can explain to the general public what we can do with petition and how other legal ways to bring justice to normal people like us. Sensible ji, if you want to bring lawyers, lawyers, most of them, again, it's a profession for them. They do not worship it. If that was the case, then some of the top lawyers in the country today won't be the ones who have defended big criminals. Yeah. 
So what uh, what we'll do is, uh, 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 Deepthi, continue this fight. What I'll do is I'll take excerpts of this video and put it in social media, address it to Prime Minister and uh, Amit Shahji, so that uh, they know that this has happened to you in Bangalore, and Bangalore and uh, comes under Karnataka, which is under BJP rule. So uh, your Chief Minister Bombay should also realize that people in the police. I will take the name of the office, the one Suresh Kumar of the Suresh Kumar from Madhuravada Police Station. Okay. From uh, which uh, which uh, station? Madhuravada Police Station. It's, uh, Madhula it's some nine kilometers. Uh, that's some nine kilometers away from the airport, Bangalore okay. airport. Okay. So this the is the, the So this has to. Madhula this Wada. message has Madhula to go Wada, to yeah. Shri. Yeah. It has to go to Shri Bombay, who is now working just like Yogi Ji. We all admire him. So it will go to him, and it will also go to the Prime Minister. We want to know when you are trying to clean up India. You know why are people harassing common people like Deepthi, who is on a mission. She has a team who is helping her to find out who killed Sushant. Okay. And the justice is, you know, we are only waiting for justice. And these diaries are revealing all this. So, in fact, you should be, you know, thinking about later on, if you really give justice to Sushant and the people who were killed, then the first thing you should be doing is give an award to Deepti for what she is doing so fearlessly. So, this is my message to all the politicians, you know, who want to see. They want to cleanse the system. If they want to cleanse the system and they want to uh, do it in the right way, they have to protect common people like Deepthi and her team. If they're not doing it, then no common person is safe in our country. When the celebrities and such big names who wanted to come out with the truth, they are not safe and they are being bumped off like anything and their deaths are being brushed as inside. What, what can be the plight of a common person? Or uh, what I'm seeing, very transfer, yeah. or uh, rather the very uh, fact we won't call it a transfer. The very fact that Samir Vankade was removed from uh, the post where he was cleansing the complete drug uh, mafia, the network, you know, and almost coming to uh, you know the point where he had concluded his mission, he was picked up and just put in another place. Why was the NCB jealous on of him? Whose on whose orders? Again, the question comes here. NCB is a national agency, central agency. So on whose orders was this done? Who did this? And why is it not being taken note of by our great leader, Modi ji? Why is he not doing the inside cleaning? And also, when, a fact, uh, uh, the fact is that, Deepthi, if there is anybody connected, see, today, Sushant has, uh, in this uh, episode or the session, uh, Sushant has very clearly exposed the names of the people who are in this uh, with the underworld, with the mafia. Now, anybody who's in the cabinet, in the main ministry, in the center, who are having close ties with these people have to be removed at all costs if you are going to cleanse the system. Please don't have people who are on one side, you know, talking about uh, preserving India and uh, cleansing it, and on the other hand, you know, going for parties where this, you know, these people are who are closely connected with the cabal. There's no point. Let us just not have this sort of, you know, uh, what you call double talk. No, that we again, that again, uh, if, if there is, again, Binaji, last time when there was this uh, assassination, uh, not assassination attempt on uh, Modi ji in Punjab, okay, that then itself also we had said they have. And that point also we had what is the Supreme Court ordering the investigation and taking the inquiry and all that. Straight away it should have been, I mean it's such a serious issue and look at what has happened. It has again vanished. Was that only to make news? If no action ever happens, when everywhere they are screaming out loud that this is the security breach of the highest kind, when no actions ever happens, when this scream on the media when national uh, political leaders scream on the media that Disha and uh, Sushant were murdered. When no action happens, when their own party people are being killed, but they, all they do is scream on the media in the media against their opponents. So what this is very disappointing for all those people uh, who have so great is asking you, is it Madhya, Madhiwala, Madhiwala station? Madhiwala, Madhiwala. There's some... Um, I think so. Some it's on the way to the airport. Okay. 
it's on the way to the so airport so then we can quote it properly yeah 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 fine what do you want yes the name is like that madiwala madiwala or madiwala something it's close it's some 9 kilometers away from the airport okay okay, okay. Yeah. this video has to circulate yes and we will be showing uh, portions of this where deepthi is very specific about the kind of harassment that she and atima now facing in karnataka you know and why is it being done to her and for what when she is only fighting for the truth this is not you the know? first time meena ji the earlier also in 2019 i think 2000 i told you like my friend uh, raju shirke he that poor guy didn't even know what he was signing on like usually what do, what we do if you want a witness are come and will you please sign so out of goodwill just because he had goodwill for me he signed it for that he was caught taken to the rajaji nagar uh, police station some crime branch people uh, started beating him black and blue uh, started asking him how are you related to that girl what is your association with sri devi case and later now that entire thing has you know been there are no proofs no records maintained or anything ah so they are saying madiwala is far away from the airport so to be another name uh, maybe another could, name uh, uh, yeah you yes, can whatsapp will, it to me uh, yeah you can whatsapp i will, it I will tell it, i will tell it just now just yeah. give me one Please. minute minaj yeah uh kartik says and so please read all the details about members of bollywood before accepting any truths about them from the mainstream media question everything don't accept anything on hearsay very well said doubt says to think i grew up watching these actors believing they are really real stars now learning they are really non stars uh sensible says exactly when people can attack modi ji i i don't understand how can leaders be quiet no it's not to attack anybody uh, 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 sensible uh, this is not about attacking anybody it is about questioning see media has the right to question why certain behavior is being done to the common man now uh, if if uh, for example uh, you know deepthi is being uh, and her team are being harassed by uh, you know the police we don't know whether it's under you know whether even the you know the chief minister is aware of it yeah so let me just add yeah it's madiwala yes, police please. station minaji it's madiwala police madiwala. station it's 8 okay. 8 yeah it's 8 kilometers from uh, uh, the airport if you can madiwala but they say on the hosur road no 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 you just check on the okay. this thing it's 8 kilometers from the hello and uh, who is the officer hello suresh kumar yeah okay that's fine so i think on the, this is something we need to uh, you know share widely friends please do it and also on social media we'll be doing it please do us help make our hands strong see this is what, the only request i can ask you you know you're all there i think about 362 people have joined us it's a very very big group you know i don't i do not want you to like or un- dislike the the thing I do, i'm not asking you for that i'm just asking you to share you know so that this uh, deepthi's voice can be uh, heard everywhere and we go we lead to something see how long can people hide things if the federal agencies are not working and they are paid by the public you know so they are answerable and if they are not answerable the supreme court has to pull them up you know so there are so many things that we can ask i had written uh, a, a, a letter to the supreme court uh, uh you know a uh, uh, judge and all of you had uh, sent me your uh, letters which i had all forwarded to the supreme court judge and there was no response we have to make and people read it and understand what's happening and meena ji yes. in 2018 september okay we got an appointment with ramnath ji ramnath ko the letter came from the president's official mail okay our names were written 
to discuss about Sri Devi's death. Okay. And this meeting never happened. It was cancelled without any reason. Later, we came to know that uh, then President Secretary, Secretary uh, Sanjay Kothari, sir, he was the one who was responsible for the cancellation of the meeting. We never know what is the reason behind it. And I am telling that in Shridhariji's case, we have some very big diplomats who are ready to give witness, but uh, neither the hearing happens, nor the government talks about it, nor the media talks about it. There are so many glaring witnesses in the form of original medical documents and original reports from Dubai Health Authority. There are so many strong eyewitnesses who have seen that, uh, who have, who can say that, yeah, there has been a fight which could have led to murder. They haven't seen the murder, but there have been eyewitnesses which can actually tell about the situations that have happened around the murder. And we have been protecting these eyewitnesses from Dubai since, since the case is in court. And those poor people have are living lives like, uh, you know, refugees hiding from here and there since three years. So is the government and other agencies waiting for the public to forget? So I may, I may not be bumped off. Not everyone is bumped off. Maybe they have something like Ravinder Patel in store for me where all my team members will be attacked and separated and I'll be pushed into isolation. Maybe they have, that's the plan that they have in store for me. But why? When there are, what is the delay? Why this silence from the government, from the agencies? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for the public to forget? Or are you waiting for me to get harassed enough to stop fighting, quit fighting? Or are you waiting for the cabal to get so uh, shaken that they end up eliminating more people? Your silence, I'm talking, telling this to the government and to the agencies, your silence in such matters is encouraging crimes and it is the reason for the deaths of so many other innocents. Had you people taken the Wohra Committee report of 1993 and acted it on time, these things would have not come so far. So many innocent lives wouldn't have been lost. Bollywood wouldn't have been the gutter that it is today. Even today, if uh, you know they, they remove mafia and eliminate all the people connected to it, India will be clean. Do Forget about cuts? eliminating Meenaji. Uh -huh. They are calling them and making them brand ambassadors. NCB calling this and uh, our law minister Rajuji making someone else the brand ambassador. Salman Khan the brand ambassador of... Uh, so Anurag Thakurji making Salman Khan the brand ambassador. Why is the government whitewashing or, you know, making efforts to whitewash their efforts when their faces are getting exposed on the social media? Even what is... somewhere, now somewhere I'll tell you a, a bigger doubt. Now somewhere, uh, Deepti, just pay attention, viewers. I have a doubt that this Kashmir files, it's only a film, okay? The, the action has to take place on ground, okay? Now, as somewhere again, I feel that the government is paving the way for other Bollywood movies to be seen in theatres, which is challenging the boycott Bollywood movement. And we know who are the people behind this in the government. What? I just want people to analyze this thing. If the entire governments get together to promote Kashmir files and does nothing about doing actual justice to the Kashmiri pundits, to the injustice that happened with them, then is it just a gimmick? Is it just a gimmick to, you know, promote Bollywood and flame the, you know, that anti-feelings against the communities and all? Is it the agenda? Or if the agenda is giving real justice to the Kashmiri pundits, where is the action on the ground? Yeah. What steps have been taken about that? Why is it that everything just stays on the media as one big news? It's a very sad it's situation. A... Very sad situation. I mean, at least Sushant has voices like yours and mine to at least tell the people what exactly happened and what he has documented. He has documented. That's the good thing. He wrote this. Others haven't documented their work. There have been martyrs before Sushant as well. There has been Shri Ji, there has been Divya Bharti. Uh, there have been others whom we don't know. These are the names that those are famous, famous. These are the names that are famous. We don't know about the other names who have been bumped off silently who are lesser known people. Yeah. Why, why others? Even Sushant's friends, 14 of his people 
were killed around him. Na her Sandeep, na her Rasif, Basra, and the Nayams. There are a list of 14 people who were killed just after or before Shushant was killed. Maybe they were the team that he was working with. Yeah. So, you know, I'll tell you NLX. another. I'll tell you another incident also. Uh, we know when I see. I know. I know when people avoid me, that people are scared of something, and that's why they don't come on my channel. Now. Uh, earlier, we had uh, criticized Vivek for uh, doing a U-turn and going to Ekta Kapoor and, uh, you know, wishing her a birthday and all that. And then he was actually bad-mouthing us, saying that, see, we need to survive, so Bollywood should thrive. But now when the Kashmir files came, I told his secretary that if the movie is good, I would like to speak about it to Vivek. Are you going to give, you know, uh, invite him to, you know, are you going to let him come on my channel? She said, let me try, ma'am, and all that. After that, no noise. He's going to every channel, huh? including he tried uh, shamelessly to go to Kapil Sharma's. Okay. Now, that why is he not coming? No, 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 no. That is another publicity gimmick, Minaji. I will tell you one thing. Now, boycott, they, though they may try hard to show that they are not affected and the movies are still doing business and they will bounce back eventually, they are shaken to the core. core. All right. So there are now two groups. If the Bollywood has to uh, be come back into the good books of the people again, again it has to divide into two groups. One is the group that is already exposed, and one is the group which makes patriotic movies and stills. But in the end, they are all together behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I got I received an email from a person who has said that uh, the PR of a, of, a, of, a, of a people who are who have made another film on Kashmir. Okay, and they say they have interviewed and all that. So, Meena, ma'am, your uh, channel is popular. So, can we, you know, promote it in your this thing? Please uh, see the trailer. So, you know what I did, Deepthi? The first thing I did was I asked them, what is the story? I want to know the story. I cannot comment on anything just by, you know, uh, seeing a trailer. No, I want to know the story because tomorrow, if I'm supporting the wrong people, it will hurt my morals, my ethics. I cannot stand with that. You see? So it's better, you know, we go with people who are, you know, standing for the truth. But if you're double-faced and you have another agenda before you, behind you, then we are scared for you. I think the message is loud and clear, Minaji, where we stand. Yeah. It's us, we have to stand together. And we have to, if we, if we want a change for a better society, it's us people. It's yeah. Minaji, you have, this platform has to reach each and every Indian. At least this is the first step that the viewers can do. Yeah. Yeah. Kindly so, ensure that the gist, even if they don't have the patience to sit through all the videos, yeah, exactly. just, the just, just, just take out the gist, yes. take out the gist. Yes. Like yes. someone, if okay. someone is discussing politics, you can, can make the connections there. Yeah. To un make we'll them understand that. what exactly. Yeah. Because I am doing, I am interacting with, like I am, even if uh, an exceller or someone, I keep talking to everyone. If I, if they talk about something, rates have gone up. So I indirectly typed up with this and say, see, this is why this is happening. Because what affects them? These people, these everyday common people, what it is, they are running for their survival. The only yeah. thing in, the, in their mind is from morning to night is survival. How they, survive on a, they survive on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Okay. When you know, they so will when when they will know that they could have led a comfort, much comfortable life had things been better. When they realize that, then then they will start raising voices. Yeah. Too. You know, when I said, when I said, see, this is nothing. This is only a film. Okay. In reality, you have to first rehabilitate the Kashmiri pundits and give them protection so that they're not scared again. So immediately people told me that, no, no, this is, uh, you know, at least uh, we are building awareness among the youngsters. So many years passed, 35, 40 years passed. You're still building awareness. Wasn't so it the duty of a government? that was already in power twice, you know, to uh, also, uh, you know, educate the people through their history. Exactly. Exactly. Huh? What they was have, the history they... book saying? Okay, you you were also, if you kept silent and you did not uh, prove that Rajiv Gandhi and Farooq Abdullah, you know, were doing a crime, you know, that means you were also, uh, uh, you know, a part of it, part of the crime because you kept silent. No, it will be like, it will be like, after another 30 years, a film will be made on the riots that happened in Bengal and all those party workers were killed. Yeah. And the injustice that happened. 
so rather than taking action where it matters and when it matters when you are making films then the only agenda is gaining money and gaining and you know publicity or image for some western interest and i hope this is not true with our present government we have high hopes from it everyone believes that this is the government which thinks about the people and about the country there are some mistakes that we are we want the government to work on because at the cost of injustice to its own people no country can ever become great you know okay, maybe i'll, I'll, take, I'll yeah. end on one small note sure you know when you talk about and this is a very loud message that i'm giving when you talk about beti bachao beti padhao does it mean only certain daughters you know of the country because with sushant's death there have been the deaths of many women young girls so are these girls not part of part of the uh, beti bachao uh, beti padhao beti ko the sing blah 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 if it is not a part of it can you please tell me are you going to only look after the uh, young girls in uh, punjab or in uh, kashmir or kerala or something but not in maharashtra you will have to if you are talking about as a minister for women and child if you are talking about protection of children and women it is protection of children and women in every part of india it cannot maharashtra be selective cannot be excluded and maharashtra, it cannot be selective. maharashtra your friends cannot be excluded it cannot be selective as per your association and we don't want ngos we don't want ngos where young children are being taken it because this is something very sinister and all these ngos are actually fronts for child trafficking and women trafficking so please let's let's uh, just uh, you know uh, take away all these ngos from these very very vicious people we don't want any ngos we will find other ways of protecting protecting orphans thank you yes, people thank you session. thank you so much yes. vijay meena ji the way you put things across it straight away hits the people hearts and their minds they are forced to think about it i mean i i am really i am really very very i don't know to use the right word for it but i am really very very grateful to have someone like you in this moment among the whole lot of gang gas gangs of people attacking the truth someone who is standing i know that if you had made certain compromises you too would have been in an, another position by now in some political position or not i uh, know this only because only because you for you truth cannot be selective that is why the numbers on your channels are being first the numbers of your tweets are being first and people who have started with you have gone up to become some name in the political leaders okay because Absolutely. they are selective with the truth not you thank you minaj jaja one request please don't ever change there will be pressures no, never now it's too late to change <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 thank you minaj ji yeah. yeah. for another okay. session and we sure. uh, uh, thank you from the bottom of our hearts viewers uh, because it's so much of time two hours she spent with us sharing her thoughts as well thank you and good night thank you minaj take good night